Hello guys and welcome back to yet another video. As you can see from the title, we are doing an Eve spawn tutorial. So I've just spawned in and um, this is where we are. We are near some ponds and um, some rabbits here. And uh, see obviously people have been here before. We must be close to another civilization. But we need a round rock. I want to try and find our own area but we need a round rock and it seems he doesn't want to give us round rocks. Yeah, see someone else has been here again. You know, all these servers have been played on but it's very... Um, less likely that uh, people will constantly be born here. So we're going to make sharp rock and make ourselves a basket, right? We're going to avoid all the wild balls around here and uh, so we can find two reeds up here. Here we go. Make ourselves a basket. So that's the first thing you're going to do. At this point of time, do not save your babies. If you don't have anywhere established yet, you do not want to just start setting home and start raising kids because you're only just going to doom both years because every time you pick up a child, it is costing you your food and you don't want to be running out of food. All right, so I'm going to get some food. We're going to get this um, burdock, which is a great source of food. I'm going to eat this. And we're just going to have a look around. So right now... Oh, since we're looking around as well, it's always a good thing if you can make tools because you never know the area you pick if it has a lot of milkweed. So if you can do this as you are running around looking for an area, you're going to save um, time. So save space. We're also just going to take this, get it out of the rock. There's no straight branch here, but we're going to put this on for now. Take back our rock. Top up on food and start looking again. Eat, eat, eat. Uh, oh, oh, a little bit like there. Don't forget to name yourself. I am Tanner. It's the name I always seem to stick to. From like Full House and Elf, if anyone remembers those shows back in the day. All right, here's another milkweed. I'm going to take this one. Still nothing around here. This greens is not big enough. I would not want to settle here. There's not enough trees. I just at least want an area that, you know, I can at least start something. You know, this is not something I permanently would stay in an area. It is going to be a tutorial after all, but we still need to have an area that I have some food around me so I don't starve to death while doing the tutorial. Okay, making the next one. I'm going to grab this long branch. I'm going to need this long branch. Do we have any more round rocks around here? We do, because we're going to need to another sharp stone. Alright, let's eat this burdock. This down, this, and two short staffs. Because we now need to put a short staff onto this one. Now that fire bow drill is done. That helps us make fires. I'm going to put this onto this. And then the sharp rock onto that. Oh my god. Um, I don't know who you are. So I'm not going to pick you up. We'll let them go. Uh, if they have an eave spawn here. Then they would probably. Uh, if I don't pick them up. Then they might spawn back at the spot. So I'm just going to let them go. I'm sorry whoever you were. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So we have got rivers and waters right here. So I'm going to stop right here. I'm sorry, mister. I didn't want you to be born to me. <laughs> I'm doing a tutorial, baby. Sorry. Okay, so next thing you want to do is get ourselves some clay. So let's find some clay around here. Well, there's plenty of water, so this is good. Ideal area would be a swamp greens with a desert because this way uh, you can have good temperature But I'm not going to worry about that. That's something that you can look at when you try to make your own uh, Okay, because we're just gonna we're just gonna set up. I think maybe just up top We'll have a look So we just want to get this done as quick as possible. We're gonna need three reeds But right, you should really like get four reeds. Let's just get this burdock Put this back up here. We're going to make another one as well, if I can see another reed. So we have that ready for when we blacksmith. So you usually make four if you can. So I can make four. I'm just going to get this reed. And we'll make four. 
Uh, where was that clay? I need some clay. We'll just take this. Like so. Um, now we need a spot. So let's just take three of these. And do I want it here? No, it's, it's too close to the green. Uh, where's some... A lot of water sources. I guess we can do it around here. Or at least we're right near wasteland. So I should be able to get it. Let's just do it. We're going to do the oven down here. All right. We're going to do it here. We're going to do it right here. So we're going to need a round stone. Eat this onion. And use a stone. Bam. That's your start of it. And then the next one. And then the next one. Oh, should, I'll just spread the basket. Save me carrying one at a time. I'm just wasting time doing that. And then we're going to grab these this extra one. So we come back up here. Alright, now that we have established ourselves a home, we need to um, set a home marker. So you cut down a sapling, like so. Place it where you would like your home marker to be. I don't think this should be a good spot to put it. Let's put it up here. Use a round stone and hit the skewer. And we now have got ourselves a home marker. So this way, it doesn't matter where we go, you can see it's always going to point up to the top. Alright, so the next quick thing you want to do is get some more clay. We need to make ourselves a couple of bowls and a couple of plates. So I'm going to do three bowls and uh, three plates to start off with. Actually, I might do four bowls because I'll keep one at the farm just in case. Never know. So let's make the bowl. So round rock. And hit the clay once, it gives us bowls. Hit it twice with the round rock, and it would give us plates. So let's go get some more clay. Should have been up this way. Here we go. Always careful when you're coming through the swamps, there are bores. They can be unpredictable. Looks like we're in a good spot where the bores aren't right on top of us, which is great. Okay, here we go. And we'll grab one more and if you really want to do it you could make pots for stews to get ready as well we might make one of those since we could bring three at a time so we'll do that oh penguin you just scared the bejesus out of me Ugh. need another berry i'm gonna try not to overeat because we're gonna be needing food all right make our last stuff so Three bowl plates, another extra bowl, and two bowls. And then join those two bowls together, and we got ourselves a crock pot, which is helping us do our stews later on. And now we need another long shaft. We're going to need two long shafts actually, because we need to make tongs, and we need to have one for lighting our fire. We're also going to need two more. Uh, sticks so we can make uh, kindling. So for now, let's just make our tongs. To make tongs, we get it like this, and then we have to get a flint that's down here. Break it with a sharp stone. Grab our little flint and hit one of those. And we have now got ourselves a set of tongs. You need to get out of my way for now. This actually can be handy because we will need to make a snare later on. Let's eat before we die. If you can, try and eat like off different berry bushes. This will stop um, eating all at once because these only grow back one at a time. Um, so eating them off different berry bushes means you're going to, you know, they're all going to grow back another one at the same time instead of trying to force grow one on that. All right, so let's get ourselves some kindling. So we have this branch and this branch. Also, when you're placing your furnace or your kills and stuff, try and remember to be around these type of trees these this one and uh one like this one or like the long branch because you're going to need to have them to start a fire all the time and you want it to be close so try to remember never to chop those down at least keep one of each right next to you all right so we're going to get our stone hatchet that we made and we are going to turn these two into kindling place one in the kill and we'll keep one right there let's just move this out the way it's up here and um, let's just Get our food up quickly before we use the kill. 
Is there any other cup of food I would like to have? Like, nope. Uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna be naughty and we're just gonna take another one of you. Alright, so, rub. Some uh, tender, tinder, tender, whatever. <laughs> we're gonna grab a leaf. We're going to get our fire bow drill. We're gonna put it on the long shaft. Come back down to our leaf. Place a leaf on the long shaft. Let's come back down to the tinder. And put that on there. When you get a little flame, you will grab your kindling and you'll place it on your fire. Then straight away, we're going to come up here. We're going to light our kill. And quickly, if you're fast enough, cook all these up. And then we can put the other um, adobe on it and we can turn that into coal. Which will save us time for when we're smithing. Come on, one more. Let's go. Bam. Yeah. That's how we do it. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to grab some soil, which for us, we got some right here. And we're just going to place it here. Like I said, you would plan it out, but I'm just showing you a tutorial, but plan out where you want to have stuff. You don't want things to be too crowded because, you know, when you're doing your blacksmithing, you don't want people who are on, on the farms, you know, being right next to you and stuff. But we're just going to do this quickly. Because it's just a tutorial. No one's going to be living here. So I'm not going to worry about planning um, too much. Get as much of this as we can. Okay. We need to eat. Yes, yes. Ding, ding. We hear it, we hear it, we hear it. Right, we're just going to get our health back up quickly. Alright. If you can't make a hoe straight away, you can use a sapling and a Cut skewer can also plow the land, but we don't want to be hitting it when it's a pile of three. That's just a waste. So we can take off one off each one and make it a pile of two. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, not you. You. And one more for good measure right here. Because that was three, yep. All right. And then we get our skewer and just start smacking it. Okay, sometimes the skewers can last like between four and more. Uh, this other one was a crappy one. It didn't want to do any more than four. So we've got another skewer because we've got a few around. Uh, otherwise, you can just make a hoe, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. But I want to use my first rope to make a snare because to me, a snare is a little bit more important than the hoe. Alright, and grab ourselves another one. Alright, let's try that up there. Next we want to do is we are going to get some of these um, berries. So we come down here and I'm just going to eat one. Grab these three. Bring it back up to the top. I'm going to grab this flint chip. Place it here. And then start using the flint chip on the berries to give ourselves some seeds. So you want to keep doing this until all of these plots are filled up. The bigger you can make these um, berry farms at the beginning, the more of the family you can, um, you know, feed. Right, so into here. Don't forget to remove the egg before you use a bowl to get water out. Otherwise you can't get it out. We're just going to water these ones to get those started at least. If there is like more than one of you, uh, you can do more things at once. But this is if you're by yourself. Try not to keep any kids until you can sustain it. If you if you bring in a child and you know there's not enough food source around, then you both are going to struggle to get food, and you could die trying to find food. So my tip is to always for more to live, you've got to sacrifice a couple of people. Um, you know, they're going to be born to someone else anyway, but this is just the only way we can we can do it without um, killing all of us. And once you know you got some food, then you know you can sustain some life and then raise them. Do ask them if they are new. <clears throat> if you don't mind, if you're good at doing a new spawn and you don't mind teaching them by rights, you know, by means, go and do it. You know, raise them and teach them. But as an Eve spawn, it can be really hard to teach as well as rush to get as much done because the new player will just run around and eat a lot of the food because they don't know what to do unless they've been told what to do and it can be really hard to explain why you're rushing yourself so 
Um, you know, I would never want to be with an Eve if I was uh, new because I wouldn't want that to be even harder on them because it's hard enough as it is to start. Um, I thought I... Uh, <laughs> uh, here. Where did I put the, the things? I didn't even put them in order. Duffer. Alright, so we just need two more berries. And then we're good. Alright, let's see if we had any more berries down here. Let's eat some of this wild food. Lots of soil down here, which is great. Right. We said we only need two more berries, right? Let's just take one up in case I need it for myself. If you don't want to be popping kids out, don't get your health right up because that would just mean you're more likely to have more kids. But um, yeah, when you want kids, that's when you start eating. So let's get these last two planted and then we're going to start working on the next part of getting ourselves organized all right once you've done that you would find some round stones and you would then put it, that in the pond you would pick up the round stone and you would just place it right on the pond like this it'll be like a whole pile then pile and then one on top when you've got one on top you know you're done but then we need a shovel so how are we going to do that well we are going to go find some iron now, where was it that i saw Alright, so wastelands, grey biomes like this is where you're going to find your iron. Well, before we do that, we're going to need some flat stones. Uh, when I'm blacksmithing, because I usually do three at a time, I usually like to have three. Three flat stones. I'm also going to put these bowls right in front like this. With their plates right underneath. And get ready to put the iron in there once I've um, smelted it. Ah, but well, before we can even do that, we do need to make a snare. So let's quickly do this before I go up to get the iron. Because we need some bunnies. Because we need to make a bellows. Alright, so we grab that. We grab a long shaft. Let's just run this down here to my... Uh, what, I, what I do with my shopstone? I, lo I lost it. That's what I did with my shopstone. <laughs> here it is. Keep hitting it until we get two stakes. Okay. I'm just going to get some of this burdock. You see, this is always the fight. It's like trying to build, trying to get things started, as well as fighting the hunger at the same time. So now that we've got the steak, we'll go back to our rope. And pl put the rope on the steak. And we need to find a rabbit hole with a family. So the, this is the bomb we're looking for. Right, so we got a rabbit down here with no family at the moment. Does any of these have families? No, none of these have family yet, so we have to wait. So I'm just going to place this here. And while we're waiting for this rabbit to get a baby, we are going to go and get the iron and flat stones and get that started. So let's see if I can find two more flat stones. Or flat rocks, should I say. So here's another one. So that's two. Look at that, berry bushes are starting to get up there. Oh yeah. Hopefully we'll have good berries to eat and we won't have to worry about running too far for food. We've got berry bushes up here as well. Alright, I'm just going to take this basket and just in case I see iron on the way. We have got an iron vein here too. But um, yeah, that's a little bit further advanced so we won't have time to do that. We have a desert here as well, which is where you find snakes. So be very careful. Alright, so this will be our last flat rock. Also, at the very beginning, you can grab eggs, you can make a fire, uh, wait for it to be coals, and then place your flat rock on that. Have a whole heap of eggs, you put an egg on the hot flat rock, and use a plate, and you'll pick that up. I'll, I, if I have time, I might show that to you as well. Very good start of Eve for food, just for some really quick food. All right, let's go and get this basket and hope that we can find some iron. All right, so let's keep going through here. Keep an eye out for wolves because we don't want to be eaten. There's a wolf. Is this wasteland going to be good to us? It's been good to us for one. One iron. Thank you. Seems to be uh, no more here, so I can either risk to keep looking 
elsewhere. Was that another one down here? I saw it. Nope. We keep going up. Sometimes it does connect. Oh, here's another iron, so this is good. One more, please. Alright, here we go. And there we have it. So we got three. That's all we really need. Or if anything, four is more ideal. This way we can make the smithing hammer, a shovel, an axe, and a hoe. Um, at the moment, we're just going to start off with three. Unless we're lucky enough to find another one on the way back, but I doubt it. We're going to start off with these three first. Since I only have three bowls, I can only do three at a time. Alright, so we got our iron. Let's just move our crock pot out of the way. Put our iron in a row so it's easier to pick up. Let's just move this up here for a second. Move this here. Keep yourself organised. It makes it so much easier. It does make a big deal. Let's see if this rabbit has a family yet. If not, we'll... Um, oh, did I go too far? Oh, look. There's a family up here. So we can go down here instead. Alright, so we're going to catch this. Another great food source for beginners. Um, grab some carrot seeds. So he's picked them off and they come from the savannah biomes. Also, all the stew seeds also come from savannah biome. You would need a squash, the corn and the beans. So let's, while we're waiting for that bunny, we'll just do this really quickly. Am I going to do one little, or two little plots? Alright, so we're just going to grab this. Grab our bowl. Alright, got three. Uh, before we do that, we are going to go eat. <laughs> before we die. We're going to make a hoe, right? We're going to make a hoe that's not made of iron. So this is what you can make. If you've got plenty of milkweed around, it's it's so much easier. Okay. We need one more milkweed. I'm going to place this here. I'm going to grab this other one up here. And here's one down here. If you can, try to leave one for when it's milking so you can grab seeds. If I see another one, I will show you what I mean. I'm going to put this on here and make a rope. We're going to get ourselves another one of these. Berry bushes still do not have berries on them, so we have to keep eating the wild ones. We need to grab our sharp stone again. Use it on the long shaft, then rope, then this. There we go. We got ourselves a hoe. Basic hoe. It doesn't last as long, but it's better than using the skewers. Then we're going to plant these carrots. Let's remove this egg from there. And here we go. Done. All right, let's run up and get the food. Whoa, boar, boar. If you want to get rid of boars and stuff, you're going to have to make a bow and arrow uh, to kill them, which we will need in time to get the goose. But for now, we don't need it. Let's go and get our rabbit. It'll be caught by now. There we go. Did, did I... No, I'm just going to leave this here. We don't need this for now. I thought, uh, that's right, I filled up with seeds. It's like blank moment. All right, so once we have our rabbit, we then want to use a flint chip. Use it on the rabbit. Separate this and then flint chip it again. Now we're going to have to cook this up, but we also need a string because we need to be able to sew up the, um, the rabbit first to make a water pouch. So let's just fill this up. Fingers crossed we can find two more milkweed. Okay, so here's another milkweed. Right, I'm going to see if I can wait for that one to be milking. I think it's right after this one. This is flowering. The next one will be milking. Alright, it's milking. Yeah, this is uh, fruiting, not milking. I don't know what I'm thinking. So when we grab it when it's fruiting can then grab seeds out which you want to do so that way you can always plant more later on so you just do a few take this one 
bring this back up to our camp and we want to make another fire because we need to cook up our rabbits now big mistake that I see quite a, a few people doing is they go to cook the rabbit a little too early and they burn it you gotta wait for hot coals before you can cook the rabbit but it's gonna grab two because I'm getting prepared for when we have the smith so always think ahead of what you want to do so this way you can save a little bit of time while well, berry bushes are now starting to get berries our carrots are starting to seed all right we're gonna take this off put it back behind I always like to have it behind it's easier we're gonna grab our baskets and we're gonna take this coal out we're gonna get it ready for when we go to smith so we get these coals and we put them one in each bowl we do three at a time per coal and then we're going to throw this one back in we're going to get our leaf up here see I'm just got old and then like this back down the bottom wait for our flame don't want to die once there's a flame again put that on there we are now going to turn this into coal again so that way it's ready to smith and we're going to wait for this to die down now to cook this we are going to need the skewer i think i can use this one all right put it on the skewer don't cook it when it's like this don't cook it it's it's not ready all right let's eat this oh well at least we got plenty of food now but try to never leave like one berry if you're going to eat off one bush eat off that same bush because then you can put more soil straight back onto that which will get ready for that hey um let's go and find some soil down here and always have some soil ready for putting it back on there once you need it while we're waiting for the fire to die we would do this all right so now that's all waiting and ready all right fires hot coals pick up this and then just click it over the top and we're done then we want to eat this because we need to get the bone so when we pick it up we get ourselves a little shard and then flint chip it gives us a bone needle get our thread put it on that and then click onto this and we got now we got a water pouch now we also need another long shaft that's something that I should have told you to do don't make the mistake I just did should have made a clay nozzle that's going to go on the bellows I could have done that when I was cooking everything up but I forgot so now I have to do that again so I just wasted some time <laughs> my bad my bad so we need another sharp rock because I had used my other one so we're just going to come down here give ourselves another sharp rock we only want to hit it once to be a smooth long shaft remember and then the flint chip to make tongs again get your water pouch and put it on there we're almost done we have to get another clay so we're going to head up here and grab just one clay we're going to use the same skewer i should quickly put wood on this fire since we're going to need it again so let me do that quickly and we'll need another one as well because i actually have to put it in the kill again so i sort of wasted a little bit of time so that's my bad so remember to make the clay nozzle when you're doing the plates in the bowls okay don't do the same mistake i just did because i've just wasted a little bit of time that was not necessary we have to take this off get a basket to take this out we can put this back in after all right and then we get our skewer and just hit the clay we now got our little nozzle feed ourselves before we die so I'm just gonna eat all these so we have plenty of health all right let's light this uh, kill back up again quickly tongs cook this and then just put that right back on the top again all right so I'll wait for that and then we can um, then we can do with that basic blacksmithing all right so there's the nozzle so while we're waiting because this needs a little bit I'll just quickly show you how we'll start doing the well so I'm going to grab some stones round stones uh, and we're going 
and put it on straight onto here. And you just keep doing that until you can't place any more. I'd also love if I can get another flat rock and I can show you how to do that. I'll do that after the blacksmithing since we don't really have the plates to, to do that. So I just get a couple of eggs off waiting. Alright, so I've eaten all the berries off this bush, so you will see soon when this starts to be a linguishing plant. Alright, so we take that off, put the bellows straight onto this. We need to make sure we have one round rock in front. And, um, yeah, we need more kindling. This is why you need an axe so quickly in-game, because you... The kindling does not last very long to keep a fire going. Quickly do this. Again, if there's, you know, more than one of you, you would have kids by now, which would help you. But this is how you get the basics. So this is the order that you really should be getting stuff started. This way you can um, give your kids jobs to do. You know, you, you know what to do. You know what to tell them. All right, so we're going to quickly cook these up. If you're really quick, if you don't have the confidence that you're going to be quick, then don't um, do it all at once, but I've done this a few times. Straight into the bowl. We're going to get this one cooked first because we're not going to be able to do them all. But I need that to be the smithing hammer. Alright, so that's all out. So then we have to get more kindling. Is there any trees? Oh, this tree right here. Just to get ready, but we do have that extra coal right there, which is great for us. Alright, here's the tree. It's linguishing. Alright, okay. Now, these to these carrots. If you do not pick them in time, they seed. So you want to get these carrots off. I didn't mind a couple of them seeding, because you're going to need some seeds to stop you going back, but we just got too many seeds. And then you can just place another soil straight on top of this. Hoe it. And then you can put another seed straight into it. If you do not pick these seeds, these seeds will disappear. So you want to like pick them all off. Then you've got yourself a whole bunch of seeds. Um, we don't, again, don't need to do it because I'm only doing tutorials. So I'll just show you. And it's not necessary for me to do all that. But that's what you do. You pick them all off, then put the soil back there. These bushes, you want to, again, cover it up with soil and then water it. And then after a few minutes, that will get its berries back as well. All right, so this one should be done. We can take that off. Let's put this back on here. Alright, now we've got ourselves a little steel ingot. That we are going to use to make our hammer. So to do that, we are going to need another long shaft. So let's go find ourselves another long shaft. If you have a green area with lots of trees around, it helps so much. Especially with the long branches, very useful. Alright, let's think there's one on this tree. Nope. Okay, here's one. Good amount of soil around here, though. So that's that's great. You want lots of soil. Alright. And we are just going to get this ready for our smithing hammer. Okay. Now, time to light this furnace back up again. Remember, you always want to be quick. So if people are in your way, then... It makes it even harder. You use a round stone to always get a smithing hammer. After that, you do not want to be using the round stone unless you're just um, making them like the iron steel ingot things. Once that is done, take that off, place it straight on there. You've got yourself a hammer. We can now make other tools. So we can get this quickly done. Oh, oh poop. All right, let's get my smithing hammer. Axe got ourselves an axe. So this is a fantastic. Again, more kindling. See, very tiring. Oh, look, we've got an axe now. So we're going to use our axe and get ourselves some wood much quicker than trying to get kindling all the time. If I can get out of that. Eat the berries, old woman. Uh, so we grab the axe off here. We're going to put it in the basket. Just going to keep everything close. Uh, gonna go and get another long shaft. Right here. Run, old woman, run! <laughs> uh, use our sharp stone on that. Keep it as a long shaft. Get your axe head. Bam. Right, don't cut these types of trees. Don't cut these ones down. You can cut pine. 
like that. And the swamp trees. We're just going to quickly save this fire. Alright, and now this is going to burn so much longer now, guys. Because we just put that on there. Alright, so you definitely want to go into swamp. The swamp trees you don't need. Also, you know, you can see where the balls are then. And you don't have to worry about them hiding behind trees. So you just, you know, go around and you just cut all the trees around there. But try and keep the trees that you need. Branches and stuff growing on your trees. You need that stuff. So don't don't go breaking those, alright? Don't forget to keep your place tidy. You can stack your bowls. You can stack your plates. Um, alright, we're going to make one more. Like I said, we're not going to make the hoe. But you'll see the hoe when we are hammering it to make ourselves a shovel. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put that in there again. Again, I'm just teaching the basics. I will do more like tutorials on full blacksmithing and everything else. Same with like showing you how to make the uh, the farms for the stews and potatoes and cabbage and so forth. But that will be in the town I have created on another server. And I have all the means of all the stuff there already. So it will be much easier to teach you. But this is all the basics of how you'll get started. Again, you'll find all the seeds for the stews out in the savannah biome where the rabbits are. So don't worry about that. So this is done. Put this behind. Put this back on here. And let's light this up, shall we? Alright, grab this. Put it straight on there. Grab our smithing hammer. So you got axe. Then you got the hoe. Chisel head. Azzy head. Fro, file, blank knife, blank blade, and here's our shovel. The shovel is the very last one. The other tools that you see, the file is for making a knife and the saw, and as he heads and all that, that's all for woodworking, which, again, a tutorial I can show later on. So now that we've got our shovel head, I want to quickly try and get all these, like, rocks so we can make this well before the end of my life. So I'm going to go around and just collect all these. When you have other people helping you, you have someone on bunnies at all times. Make backpacks. They help a lot in the game, especially early on games. So, you know, this is where the boys come in handy. Have one one son or one boy that would constantly be gathering rabbits and have another son that's always out there looking for iron. Okay? Let's eat quickly. It's getting close. We don't want to die yet. Okay, and we just keep filling it up like that. Uh, since we're here as well, let me show you how you do the basic eggs. Because eggs is just another great food source. So we're just going to make another little fire. We'll just sit it up here. Because we have to wait for it to get to hot coals. So we'll light it while we are off getting round rocks. Let's get our health back up again. So I didn't need that. We'll take it in the basket anyway. All right, let's go back up to the top. Wastelands are really good for finding rocks. So are deserts. And here's another one. We have to get this berry out. Eat it. So how many rocks is it all up? Is it 10 or 11 rocks? So we already have, what, six on there? Six, seven, eight, nine. So it is ten rocks. Uh, let's just use this one since we can. <laughs> but I suggest you don't use the, the only round, round rock that you have at your base. We need ourselves another log branch. Because we need to make the shovel. Here we go. If people, like, you constantly pull these off trees, that way you can make these trees to start to respawn them again. This way you're not waiting too long, which is great. All right, that's now hot coals. So grab yourself a hot plate, put it on there, get yourself eggs and have it ready. Every time you put an egg on here and take it off, it resets the timer. So you have, like, a minute before your fire will go out. Otherwise, this fire will always be going. As long as you are cooking an egg every less than every minute all right so that's just that part that's how you do eggs so you want to have them going as well because it helps so now we've got our shovel and now we can turn this into a well Da -da! and then you just use a normal bowl on that and you can get yourself some water let's just like water this pick these seeds off me 
but that's um yeah that's pretty much very basic eve starting uh, your Eve, it lives for 45 minutes from the start, that, from the beginning that you spawn. You will have 45 minutes to do as much as you can before you die. Trying to have as many daughters as you possibly can. Like I said, you only want about one or two sons at the beginning. If you have any more than that, just let them go. Please ask if they're new. You don't want to be teaching them at the same time as trying to rush because like I said, look how... You know, I'm talking and stuff, but I'm also on my own. Now, imagine trying to do this and teach at the same time. It's, it gets a little too hard. So, you expect, if anyone wants to help you with a new e-spawn, that um, they at least know the basics of farming. So, they're not going around just eating everything in sight. But, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. And I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this simple tutorial. Um, also, I'll quickly show you the shovel also uh, gets rid of stumps. So... This is what you would use to be turning into kindling because it can be used for nothing else. So you would just use that for kindling. If you didn't know, wood also stacks. Oh my god, so angry. So wood piles can stack like this. And you keep going until you have placing more. Same with them. And um, same with kindling. If you've got kindling, you can also make that stack as well now, which is awesome. So that stack. So always have like a stack of kindling near your kill. Always have a stack of these logs near your main fire. So you can always pluck it on. Save these because these would be good to make your carts and stuff later on as well. Okay, now I'm definitely wrapping it up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I can get back to you. Uh, if you enjoy having these tutorials, just also leave that in the comments. And I will get more tutorials out if more people show more interest. I can do, uh, I can do them much quicker. I can do like one a day or something just to get everything out. Blacksmithing, farming, making tacos, making stews, making clothes, sheep farming and all this other stuff. Have a good day guys. Enjoy the game and don't forget, pass your knowledge on to other people. Thank you now. Goodbye.